Hello, and welcome to Nerd Court. I am at this point in time and space, Steve Zaragoza. Today's case, time travel. Would traveling through time create infinite alternate realities, or is the past fixed and unchangeable? Today, we will make a ruling for the future. The case you are about to see is real. The people are real. The grievances are real. The courtroom is fake, but it looks real. When geeks can no longer settle their differences amicably, there remains only one forum where justice can be served. This is Nerd Court. Here come our litigants now. With nearly three million subscribers on YouTube, plaintiff Joe Penna, known online as Mystery Guitar Man, is a Brazilian director known for his science fiction short films and stop motion animated music videos. The defendant, Leo Camacho, is an entertainment host, pop culture aficionado, and online Disney personality. All rise for the presiding judge of Nerd Court, the Honorable Malcolm Barrett I. You may be seated. Your Honor, today's case is docket number 1.21, the trial of time and relative dimension in space, or TARDIS, if you will. Ooh. Look at that, this is what I've been waiting for, you know? You got your, your Marty McFly's and your Bill and Ted's and all of that. You know, Back to the Future, they predicted FaceTime. You know, they did not predict that it would be used for a girl to find out if you were hanging out with, you know, that bitch from work, you know? So, can't predict everything. What do we got on the case here? Your Honor, right now, relatively speaking, I believe there are an infinite number of parallel universes, each embodying a different variation of every moment that could ever exist, ever. Somewhere in one of those universes, I believe time travel is possible. What? In one of these what? universes, where, in one what? of these universes, time what? travel has to be, uh, What? You, I literally, you, what you're saying doesn't make sense to me in terms of my ear heart, okay? What do you mean? Do you believe in time travel? Is it a thing? Is it not a thing? What do you, okay. what do you got? Okay, infinite number of parallel universes, just got like it. this one, slightly different to grandly different. Okay. In one of those, somewhere, Time travel exists. So like there's here, where I'm here. Yes. And then maybe there's another reality where I don't look as cute as I do. Or in a better goatee. looking, Your Honor, or better. Well, better I don't looking. think that's possible. That's that's a whole other reality. Well, so you're saying that if that's possible, then there's a universe in which we're all penguins having the same exact conversation. You said it now. Don't me. talk to each other. Address the bench. In this universe, you talk to me. He wants to be a penguin, Your Honor. I don't I don't know. Okay, well, neither one of you is gonna be a penguin. I won't allow it. You believe in uh, time travel or no? I think that time travel is possible. Okay, However, all right, we're getting somewhere. Time travel is possible, according to Styles. What else? All right, I think that there is a fixed timeline. That means that time was invented at the beginning and then everything that ever could ever happen was then created. No matter what you do to the past, it can't change the future. No matter what you do, the Sandler movies are gonna suck near the end. So, in summary, you believe in time travel, and if it is possible, it is in a multiverse, and you believe that time travel may be possible, but if so, it would be in a fixed universe, or a fixed timeline, where in case you could not change anything. That's what we have here. All right, what evidence do you have to back that up? You know what? I think that Bill and Ted is the, the most scientific thing that we have in this universe of ours. More than likely. So, for example, in Bill and Ted, they need a key at a certain point, so they just go back in time afterwards and place a key under the mat. But that then presents a paradox. But wasn't the key always there? To Bill and Ted A, the key was already there, but to Bill and Ted B, they had to go back and place the key after they had accomplished one a series of Did anyone see Bill and Ted 2, the one I with did. the dead guy, and they did the whole thing? That was good, right? Nah, I don't they think stopped it wasn't traveling in time, they went to There was no time travel in that it's one. crazy. It's literally no time travel. But it was a bogus journey, so aptly named. Also in Terminator 1, that is a fixed universe. Terminator 1 is a fixed universe. John Connor, see that's the thing I never liked. John Connor, right, sends back a guy to woo-hoo with his mom, well, he doesn't send him back for that reason. John Connor, right? That's not possible. That's like the egg going back to create a chicken or a chicken with the egg. You guys get the scenario. It's not possible. It's a paradox, and that is why it doesn't work. That's why you need a multiverse. He sends him back. It created an alternate reality. I'm starting to pick up what you're putting And I, and I have some evidence to support this case. Bailiff? <clears throat> Uh, Your Honor, please let the court know what you have in front of you. It's a paradox. Exactly. A paradox. Your Honor. Did you just pun in my courtroom? Did you just science pun in my courtroom? 
There will be no science puns in this courtroom. None. I apologize. Let the record show I am holding him in contempt. Contempt. I feel it's necessary. The court be aware that a paradox is possible. He literally, he said, it, I'm, I'm going, he said. But, but there is a purpose to this. What is your purpose? The common misconception is that Back to the Future 1 is a multiverse. But in reality, it is a fixed timeline with something known as a time ripple or time lag. That is why Marty almost disappears. He's right, it's like a, a time ripple. Time is trying to write itself. So I what think is, time- wait, 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 talk about time ripple. It's uh, a time lag, a delay. It's, it's like a delay. That's why he starts to like disappear little... because he hasn't caught up to his You guys are making so. this, seriously, I'm having like a wormhole in my head. I'm not understanding. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to have a wormhole in your head, Your Honor. That's the- uh, Wow, is that where you Einstein want to go? Okay. Take your glasses off. What I can't. Who are you? They're attached to my face. Okay. Well, since light skinned Jordy LaForge has a problem, we're going to move on with this case. See if anyone has any witnesses they want to call or anything of that nature. I would like to call Spiridon Mihalakis to the Okay, scene. Spiridon, Spiridon Milosevic. Mihalakis. I like it. Sounds like a Marvel villain whose greatest power is heartbreak. He just might be. Speedy Gonzalez is not a real person. That's, that's, that's racist. It's okay. not racist, they're just the sound alike. Hey, 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 hey. Is that Morse code? Let's bring out that witness. Spiro! Hello, Your Honor. Go ahead, bailiff. Please place your left hand on this original copy of The Time Machine by H.G. Wells and raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the current truth, the past truth, and nothing but the future truth, so help you, Cronus? I already have. All right, will you uh, talk to me a little bit about your qualifications for this? My name is Pirido Mihalakis. I love that. And I am a quantum physicist at the Institute for Quantum Information and Matter at Caltech. I have a degree in mathematics and computer science from MIT and a PhD in mathematical physics. Okay. Your um, Honor, he does have a math degree, not a time degree. Can it's I, a matter I, of time before he does. Quick question. Hey. Order. What degree do you have in terms of time of math? Uh, I, I just have, uh, you know, various degrees of interest for this, basically. Okay, so which one do you believe is more possible? Fixed timeline or multiverse? What's your personal opinion? And is it physically possible? I think that the multiverse is the way to go, but you can go deeper than that. The very nature of space and time is actually an illusion. They do not exist. So you're saying that there are no atoms, that there are no, that, that none of us exist? We do, we do. But if you were to go to the most fundamental depth of reality, increase the resolution beyond what the Large Hadron Collider can do in Geneva, you would end up seeing that everything is possible with the same probability. The only illusion that creates time and space is because we live at a much higher level. We are much bigger than these degrees of freedom from which we are made of. So you're saying that there is a universe in which we are all penguins and having the same exact conversation? That may seem crazy, but yes, I believe that this is the case. And the thing that constrains us to this particular reality that seems to be so unique and so powerful constraining us to be right here as humans is that quantum fluctuations exist, but they are very, very improbable. In fact, they are as improbable as the deviation from this reality. We are the most likely evolution of the universe simply because we can actually create a theory for it. It is a predictable universe. If we were penguins right now, that would not be a very predictable universe. Can I tell you something? I feel like you've already told me that before and that I understood it before, but almost less now. Deja vu. Is scientific, so. I mean. Thank you for your time and space, Bailiff, if you would. Come on, science boy. Let's explore multi-universes together. All right, I've made my decision. Maybe some of the court in some other dimension would have ruled otherwise, but nerd court must find in favor of a multiverse. Wait. Wait, wait, I'm from the future. And although you might think that this is the right ruling for this moment in time, it will set off a chain reaction, a butterfly effect, plummeting humanity to chaos. If you're from the future, tell us something we don't know. They never make another good Superman movie. 
Tell us something we don't know. Don't look to a word he's saying, Your Honor. You knew that this was coming for you. I'm a time cop, and this guy has made a bunch of chronocrimis. Time crimes. You become a time cop in the future. Don't get the HMO plan. Because no, this can't happen. They have to be fixed at once. Your Honor, case closed. Case closed? Future, you shot him. <laughs> you killed the old me. I was actually young, you. I mean, he's old because he's been around. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're disappearing in three seconds. <sighs> But wait a second. If you shot past him, then future him would have never come to this courtroom. And so therefore, future me never chased future him into here. So what are you, what are you doing here? <gasps> Invest, Invest in silver jumpsuits. Make your way. I'm sorry I'm late, Your Honor. I'm, uh... Did I miss something? Due to the insane and confusing chaos happening in this reality right now, I'm declaring a mistrial. All right, Nerd Quarters, that's it for this episode. I went into the future and saw that you subscribed to the channel, commented down below, and watched next week's episode of Nerd Court. What's going on? No! no! I'm being erased from existence! That guy's pretty good looking there. Good looking guy.